Hello, welcome to Expert Village. My name is Wayne Peterson, and I'm the director of the Important Bird Areas program for the Massachusetts Audubon Society. Today, we're here at the Daniel Webster Wildlife Sanctuary in Marshfield, Massachusetts, where we'll be talking about bird identification and some of the equipment and essential tools that are useful to get one started in this incredibly interesting pastime. In wetland situations, one of the more frequently encountered groups of birds are the long-legged wading birds. These would be things like herons and egrets and ibises. These are all birds that are very distinctive and typically quite large. Many of them stand, you know, as much as two feet or more in length and typically have, in addition to long, slender legs, uh, long necks. In some cases, their bills are very straight, such as in the great blue heron and the great egret. And in other cases, like the glossy ibis, the bill is strongly decurved, almost sickle shape in, in uh, configuration. Some of the long legged wading birds are prominently white, such as the great egret and the snowy egret, in which case we look for things like the color of the bill, yellow in the great egret, black in the snowy egret, or the coloration of the legs, black with yellow feet in the snowy egret, and completely dark in the great egret. For birds like the great blue heron, one of our commonest large long-legged wading birds, the overall sort of slaty blue color and gentle streaks on the neck are very distinctive. Some of the other long-legged wading birds that are less conspicuous would be the American bittern and the least bittern. These are birds that typically occur in cattail marshes like the one behind me here and are often very reclusive and hard to see and use the streaks on their body plumage to lend them inconspicuous when they're standing amongst the, the cattails.